Push That Rock here with Simpson Matt. In this video, I'm going to give us the unit circle definition of the trig function. Shout out to uh, follower Zaneb Khan for the University of Coimbra hat. Thank you. Okay, here, let's get going. So we have here a unit circle. Let's make sure we get it in the screen. Uh, it's a unit circle because the radius is one unit, meaning the distance from the center out to the edge of the circle is one unit. So this point here that's on the circle would be over, over one unit and up zero. And this point here on the unit circle would be over zero units and up one. So that coordinate is zero, one. And in other lessons and other videos, we found some other points on the unit circle. There's an infinite number of points on the unit circle, of course. And they all have the uh, trait that if you square the x coordinate and add it to the square of the y coordinate, you always get one. Now, I've also drawn a angle in standard position. An angle in standard position is one with the vertex at the origin, one side on the positive x-axis, and then the other side you envision rotating from the positive x-axis and then terminating its rotation somewhere, like say here, and this is the terminal side of the angle, and the terminal side of the angle will intersect the circle, and when we talk about the intersection of the angle and the circle, we're always talking about where the terminal side touches the circle. Now, we're ready for the definition. The definition says, make sure I've got it in the screen, that theta is the symbol we're gonna use for the angle. Theta is a standard position angle intersecting the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals one at a point labeled x and y. If you have that, then cosine, cosine, which is denoted COS, of the angle is equal to x. So you put in the angle measurement, you get out the x coordinate. So you put in the measurement of this angle, you get out the x coordinate. Sine, which we have here, denoted as sin, sine of the angle is equal to y. So you put in the angle measurement, you get out the y coordinate where that angle intersects the unit circle. And then finally, tangent, denoted with tan, is the function that if you put in the angle measurement, you get out a ratio, a number generated by the ratio, the fraction of the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So we can do one example or two, but before we go, I wanna point out that theta not only is this angle measurement, uh, which can be in degrees or in radians, but if you're in radians, that means theta is also this arc length. Because remember the definition of a radian measure of an angle is the arc length, how long this arc is, divided by the radius. But the radius is one. So arc length divided by one is just arc length. So the radian measure of this angle also corresponds to the arc length. So another definition would be to say theta is the arc length that is cut away by an angle. And so you put in an arc length and you get out x for cosine, or you put in an arc length that is cut away by the angle and you get out the y coordinate where that arc length terminates on the unit circle right here. Okay, let's do an example before we go. So this angle, is conveniently 135 degrees, which is in radians three pi fourths. Okay, now that means that this is 90 degrees plus 45, so this little reference angle here is 45 degrees or pi fourths. And if I drop it perpendicular so that this is 90, then this is 45. So that means that this distance and this distance are the same length, and we're in a 45, 45, 90, so their square roots are two times smaller than the radius, the radius is one. If the radius is one, then this coordinate right here is one over the square root of two, because this, is, well, it's negative because we're going to the left, but this distance here is square root of two times smaller than one, and this distance here is the same. So there's your coordinates. Rationalized this point, is equivalent to the square root of two over two. 
This one's negative though, because we're going to the left and then we're going up, so that one's positive. So now we're ready to evaluate. If I want to evaluate psi at 3 pi fourths, or at 135 degrees, you can put in degrees or radian measures, you get out the y coordinate, and the y coordinate is one over root two, or if you want to prefer it rationalized, root two over two. These are the same value. These are the same number. They're both approximately 0.7. And that's math made simple, Simpson math.